Good morning guys, it's Laurie from Passionate Penny Pincher. I'll sneak down here so you can see me because my video is working ridiculously today. We're hoping it'll work. We're gonna make pasta fagioli soup from Olive Garden. We're also gonna make homemade breadsticks today. I'm praying the video is gonna work. If you'll let me know in a second if you hop on. Oh, it looks like it's working. Yeah, I'm really down here on the floor. So you can download your cookbook at the click link above. This is bizarre. Um, you can also get a deal on these spoons where um, if you use the code PPPCROC at checkout, we're gonna start cooking because it's been a crazy day. Hi, Amy. Guys, oh my gosh, y'all. I can't even tell you how crazy today has been. But we are making pasta fagioli soup in the crock pot and you can get this copycat recipe at the link above. It's on day nine of Crocktober. Um, it's totally free to get it. As you're hopping on, if you can tell me what you're making for dinner tonight, what your favorite thing to eat at Olive Garden is, if you have a favorite thing. And then tell me, um, and then hit that share this button and we will give away a $25 Amazon gift card if we get a share. So this is one of those recipes that you actually have to brown the grease, brown the beef for. So it comes in really handy. I've got my Ninja Pop Pot that I can use. Look at this. Let me scoot that back so you can see it. So I can brown in this. I've got to turn up too high. I can brown my beef in here as well as do everything else. Thank you, Mom the Seven, for sharing. That is really noisy. I probably should have done this ahead of time. While I'm doing this, though, I'm also going to go ahead and I'm going to chop up my onions. And get this going. Thank you, Rebecca, for sharing. Thank you all for sharing. Okay, so we're going to get this browning. And this is two pounds of ground beef. We are making pasta fagioli soup. I'm hoping that's not too noisy, but y'all can hear it. I probably should have started earlier. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to chop. Let's see if I can make this so you guys can see it. I'm going to chop this onion in my favorite chopper. Somebody asked me where I got the chopper from. Um, I got it on Amazon a while ago and I love it and I'm chopping stuff up finely because I don't want to um, because I don't want my kids to know it's in there so I'm chopping up my onion I'm gonna go ahead and keep browning over here you made this the other day and it was yummy okay Adele you said you made it the other day and it was yummy what size crock pot did you have because I'm a little worried that this crock pot is not gonna be big enough. So I'm hoping it will be, but we'll see. I'm gonna keep browning while I'm chopping. This is one that if you work out of the home, I would definitely prepare this one ahead of time because this does require a little bit of chopping and some, you gotta ground the beef too as well. Hey Debbie in Philly, Silva in Pennsylvania, so glad to see you this morning. Okay, guys, I hope that y'all have been encouraged to get dinner done. I have loved it. I'm actually not gonna put that many in there. So this chopper thing is my favorite one ever. I like it better than a food processor because it cooks just a little more, um, it just, I don't, because it's small, it doesn't take up a whole lot of space. It was on Amazon, I don't know. Oh, Joy, I'm glad to see me, I'm so glad. Okay, so we're gonna give that a good chop in. Um, we're gonna see if we can go ahead and I need a bowl for this stuff. Let's see if I can find the bowl. Y'all, I've had one of those mornings where nothing has worked at all that I've touched today, so I'll just be prepared. But we're still gonna get dinner done, even when you have those days that just stink and you wanna cry, which is kind of the way I felt all morning. You just have to keep going. So my iPhone is not working for video. It's been making this weird noise. So I went to the iPhone store last night. I went to the Verizon store. I went to Best Buy. And basically, it's not working at all. So I'm gonna have to switch. Right now I'm using my iPad, which of course I don't have a stand to sit up on so that you guys can see things. So it's just been kind of a crazy morning. So my encouragement to you go though is if you've had one of those days when you just feel like you can't, you wanna quit, we just can't quit. We have to keep on going. I really wanted to quit this morning, like in so many ways. <laughs> Hi Tina, glad to see you. Don't forget guys, if you hit that share this button, I will give away a $25 Amazon gift card and we've given quite a few away this week. I would love to give you one. Also, you can download your cookbook and get this recipe as well. Okay, so we're gonna chop up the rest of our celery 
And what I'm loving this morning is I'm using Laura's lean ground beef. I barely have any fat in this morning. Okay, there we go. Oh, didn't quite chop it all. I love this little thing. It's amazing. You cook ground beef and then freeze it. You know, I should have done that. That is definitely the best way to go because then you don't have to do this in the morning. But if you don't have it done, and the nice thing too is like, I this is all gonna cook all day long. So I'm not super concerned about it not being cooked, um, but I do wanna get it good and browned. But you can see there's not much fat at all though. I mean, it's just hardly any fat. I think I can just drain that off pretty easily. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of that browned. And then we're gonna start pouring everything into the crock pot. Let's see if we can get this done. Hi Lisa, glad to see you this morning. Thank y'all so much. Thank you for sharing, Carla. I so appreciate y'all. That helps to make this so much more worth it for me. So after we finish making the pasta fajol soup, we're gonna make homemade breadsticks. I have never tried this out before, but I started thinking this morning that basically breadsticks are just bread that are rolled a certain way. So I took my homemade bread dough and I made that recipe up in my um, pot this morning and we're gonna use that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and drain off this beef and I will tell you, because this Ninja cooks so hot and I don't want to burn myself, I'm gonna figure out how to do this easily. Y'all, if you're looking for somebody like Martha Stewart who knows what she's doing, you know what, there's no way she does. Okay, I'm just gonna have to drain it. If y'all have used the Ninja, it cooks so hot. So I am just gonna try not to burn myself here because I love this thing. This is the only thing I don't like, but I feel like I need to drain this, this off. Oh yeah, perfect, okay. So just know if you try out the Ninja, it's awesome, but it is hot, this, these things will burn you. Okay, so now we're just gonna add everything in from the recipe. I'm gonna pull open my page. Okay, we're gonna add in the onion and the celery and here's the biggest question. I'm gonna turn this off so that we're not making noise over here. Okay, we're gonna turn, add in the onion and the celery. The biggest thing I will tell you about um, this recipe is it's, it makes a ton. I am not positive that it's gonna fit in this crock pot, so I may have to actually get my other crock pot out, but we'll just see, y'all can guess, and we'll see how full we can take it. So we're putting in, let's see what's in there. We've got two pounds of ground beef, three carrots, four socks of celery, one onion, a 32 ounce carton of beef broth. Y'all, I don't think there's any way it's gonna all fit in here. It's not gonna fit in here, I don't think. We'll see. We'll see how big this sucker is. Um, a carton of beef stock, two 28 ounce cans tomato. Oh y'all, I don't think this is gonna do it, we'll see. I don't know, it might, it might. It might surprise me here. Two 28 ounce cans tomato. I don't know, it might actually make it. I'm encouraged. Okay, um, then we're gonna add in a 24 ounce jar, a 24 ounce jar of uh, tomatoes pasta sauce. I'm gonna wait and add that in after, once we see what the beans do. <laughs> then we're gonna add in a can of red kidney beans and a can of cannellini beans and um, white kidney beans. So a can of red kidney beans, one white. These are drained and rinsed. Okay, y'all. What else do I have to add in here? Okay, I've got to still add in this tomato sauce. I think it's gonna fit. What do y'all think? Do you think it's gonna fit? This is the Ninja four in one. Um, what I love about it is that you can do everything in one pot. Y'all, this makes enough soup for an army. I think it's gonna fit. I'm totally gonna try it. I have my big crock pot over here. I have a massive one, but I think it's gonna go. What do y'all think? I should scoot this over so y'all can see it a little better, shouldn't I? Go ahead and hit that share this button if you know someone who would love to get dinner on the table. There we go, okay. So, <laughs> y'all, I'm at the lid. Are we ready? Barb, thank you for your prayers this morning. It's been just a rough day, and I also have a sick kiddo home, so I've banished her to the other room for me to finish this, and then I'm gonna go take her to the doctor's office as soon as we get dinner finished. Okay, y'all, let's get a spoon. This is a lot. Here we go. Looks like it'll fit. I mean, it is gonna be, I think it's gonna fit. I cannot believe, I did not expect it to fit, and I was trying to figure out how I was gonna 
turn it out on live. Okay, here we go. Y'all hit that share this button and you'll be entered to win a $25 Amazon gift card. We pick from folks who share because that's the only way we can find you guys. So hit that share this button. I'm gonna rinse this out real fast with water to get just the little bit extra because I hate to leave anything in there, you know? So when you have a can and you don't wanna waste anything, give it a quick rinse and then we'll get the rest of the spaghetti sauce out pretty easily, I think. There we go. Okay, I think it fits. Now we just gotta add the seasonings in and there's not too many of those, so it should be pretty easy. All we're adding in now is three tablespoons of oregano, two teaspoons of pepper, and five teaspoons parsley. I'm gonna tell you my little secret tip, trip, trick. When things like this, if I'm making Italian stuff, I don't do all that stuff, I just buy Italian seasoning. It's already mixed for you, and that way I don't have to have all that stuff. So I'm gonna put in five tablespoons of my Italian seasoning because I love the smell of it. This is a massive bowl of stuff, um, but that just makes it a little bit easier. So now we're gonna go ahead and give it a quick stir. Don't forget you can get those measuring spoons when you use the code PPPCROC at checkout. I'm gonna stir this real well. Use the code PPPCROC at checkout to save $2 on those measuring spoons. Um, you can also order the Croctober cookbook. You may see the measuring spoons and the Croctober cookbook together on Amazon because people who buy one are typically buying the other. Ta-da, look at that massive. That is a lot of soup, y'all. That's a lot of soup. So now what we're gonna do with the soup, we're gonna let it cook all day long on low and then we're gonna add at the end of the day, which I have no idea how it's gonna fit, but we're gonna just have faith. We're gonna go ahead and at the end of the day, we will add in pasta and we're gonna add in, I believe, a cup of pasta, but I've got to look closely at the recipe and I can't see the amount on here. I believe it's a cup of pasta. Hang on. Y'all, I don't see it. I will let you know. I'm gonna check that. Oh wait, there it is, there it is, hang on. Eight ounces, eight ounces of pasta. I couldn't read it, I thought it maybe wasn't in the cookbook. So you're gonna add in eight ounces of pasta. This whole thing is 16, so that's about half of that. Um, I'm gonna have a hard time getting that in here, but I kind of feel like I can. So there we go, so soup is done, and now we're gonna go ahead and y'all, we are trying our hands at homemade breadsticks today. I have never made these before. I have no idea if they'll work. I'm gonna clean up my countertop here. My daughter, Reagan, is coming down. Reagan, do you wanna come say hi to them? She's pitiful. She's homesick and just not feeling good at all. Okay, so I'm gonna scoot this mess over here. And then I'm gonna pull my bread dough out. this awesome little thing okay let's see if y'all can see this I'm hoping the video will go to where y'all can see it there we go okay what I've done is I've gone ahead and made dough and I'll show it to you this is my dough from my bread machine this morning okay so I've got my dough already made right there what we're gonna do, and I've never tried this before, so any of you bread machine, any of you bread people, tell me what to do here. I thought about it and I thought all that this is, is regular bread. Let me see if I can scoot that back so y'all can see, right? Let's see if we can get this, it needs to go there. Let me see if I can make it so it's not quite so bright. Okay, so there's, that brightness is right on that. How, let me turn off this light and see if that helps. Is that better? Oh yeah, there you can see it better. Okay, maybe a little bit better. Let me if I turn this stuff up too. Okay, that's a little better. I almost just need to turn the lights off, but then we'll be dark in here, it's dark. Okay, let's see, is that, oh now it's really weird. Okay, we're just gonna do, I don't know where it's pulling that light from for the camera. Now I'm like in the dark in my kitchen, but it's like shining light from the side. Oh well, okay, we're gonna have to work with it. So, the name of this recipe for the bread is, um, this is just regular plain old bread. It's a regular homemade bre bread dough. I cannot find my roller because I was not planning ahead and didn't think about needing my roller. Where's my rolling pin at? Y'all, where is my rolling pin at? Hang on, it's usually right here, but it's not right there. Reagan, have you seen the rolling pin, sweetie? Uh, how do I not have my rolling pin? Y'all, 
Wow, can someone come and organize my cabinets, please, and tell me where this thing is at? It is not here. Okay, well, we're just gonna keep going. We're just gonna pretend that we know. I'm gonna do it this way, but Reagan, have you seen the rolling pin? It would be so much easier if I could have it rolled out. I can't believe that's gonna make me nuts. Okay, so this is just the dough. This is the bread machine with it, it, it. This is the dough with the honey. I actually didn't have honey this morning, so I didn't use it with that. You can let it rise. I think I'm gonna let it rise again. I really cannot believe I cannot find this thing. Like this is hysterical. This has been, if y'all knew, this has been the way my morning has been. Ugh, all day, all day long, y'all. Use a drink, a large drinking, wait, a large drinking glass to roll. Okay, that's an awesome idea. I don't have one that's like, okay, whoever you are, I couldn't see your comment. Thank you, Janice. You are my favorite, Janice. Genius. I love when people are so much smarter than I am. Okay, so here's the glass. Awesome. So, guys, one more thing you don't need to buy for your kitchen is a rolling pin because y'all are awesome. Use a cup. I, a cup probably would be smarter because it might not break. If y'all hear a glass break, you'll just know that I'm quitting for the day. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to roll this dough out using our glass because folks are so smart. You made homemade taco soup and it's in the crock pot. That sounds amazing. I don't have any wine bottles, but I love the idea of using a wine bottle or I love any time you can be resourceful because that's one less item you have to store because how often do you really use a a roller, but okay, look at that. There we go. So now all I'm gonna do, and y'all, I am making this up. So for those of you who've made homemade bread, bread stuff, I would love to hear what else you would say to do. I'm just gonna slice it and roll it into a roll. And then what I'm thinking is if you add butter and garlic, I mean, really y'all, that's all you need to make homemade bread sticks. We'll add some butter and some garlic. I'm gonna try to make them kind of so they look a little prettier here. There we go. I'm gonna put them on the pan over here. I mean, really guys, let me take my bracelet off so I can see this. The jar from the pasta. Oh, that's a great idea. Somebody said they asked for a bread machine for Christmas. Listen, I will tell you, I've been making more bread since October and it really is so nice to have the ability to make homemade bread. Um, twist the strips. Oh, we can make twisted ones. That's a great, okay y'all. You can twist them in a spiral. Okay, we're gonna twist some of them. My kids love bread any way that it comes. So let's see, so y'all are saying, Reagan's over here watching, bless her heart, she does not feel good, you guys. She is just pitiful. What's the recipe for the soup? The soup, it's the pasta fagiolia soup. It is on page, it's day nine of Croctober volume two. So that's the one you need. So yeah, we'll add Parmesan is a great idea, Parmesan and garlic butter. I mean, really y'all, this is just, this is just, oh, look how cute that is. Okay. Look how fun. My family is going to be so happy. They are not going to realize. They will never know the disaster that their mother has been all day long, and they're going to have dinner. You just pulled your bread machine out. Oh, I'm so glad. Linda, I am so glad I inspired you. The more that I use it, I'm like, why would we ever eat bread that's not homemade? Because it's so easy to do. The only bad thing is, easily in our family, we can go through a loaf a day. Tomorrow we're gonna to make breakfast for dinner and I'm actually gonna make homemade cinnamon rolls and we'll probably make those online. But I was like, why am I paying for bread when I can make it so easily at home? Okay, so I have to tell y'all a little secret about myself right now. Um, back when I was in college, many of y'all know that I dropped like 75 pounds um, while I was in college. And as soon as I lost it, I went to live with my dad one summer and I needed a job and I worked the only job I could find that was easy was working in the Winn-Dixie Bakery. Y'all, I love me some donuts. I love me some dough. I would wake up every morning at 5, well, 4.30 a.m. and I'd make donuts. And we made these little twisty ones. So I had forgotten about that until I was just doing those live. Um, but that's all you do to make them. It's super easy. And you can twist them right up. And I really think those are going to be so fun tonight. Um, yeah, so all this is, it does help having a bread machine. Um, I probably wouldn't make dough on my own otherwise. Um, but yeah, this is so easy. And why? And this is like you can make this stuff at home and your family gets to eat the yummy stuff and you don't have to spend money going out to eat. This will save you so much money. 
Okay, so we're gonna add Parmesan and butter. Do I have a good recommendation on a bread machine? We've got a couple ones that we like and we'll send you guys the link. Um, Hannah, if you can pop a link in for those or Nicole. Um, we have a couple that we like. I think anyone that has good reviews on Amazon will be great. That one I didn't do very well. Okay, so the trick is to get them the same length Then you just twist them around and then you tie them off at the bottom. And you can tell guys, I am not fancy, but this is something that's so easy to do. And here's a big thing about this. Um, one of the reasons I like to do this is not just because it saves money, but it saves time. Anytime I don't have to go to the store, the amount of time that I've spent on these this morning is less time than it will take me to go into the grocery store. So I'm always looking at how to save time and money. And so this saves me both money and time because it's easier for me to stay home. So I'm constantly thinking, what can I do with what I already have rather than going to the store? Okay, here we go. We got two more to make. Y'all can get the recipes um, at the link below. We'll give you, you can sign up. You'll get our daily emails with oodles of deals and money saving tips. You'll also get um, the free Croctober cookbook, which you can print all of these recipes and grab those. Still without video. Oh, I hope the video is working. It's been an issue. The video has been a pain. Okay, and this is just an extra one. Use your KitchenAid mixer to make the bread. That's a great idea. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead. I wish y'all could see sweet Reagan sitting over here just watching. She's watching from right over there and she's being so sweet. I hate when my kids are sick. We're just gonna add these to my pan. You can see they're not fancy. I'll put on some garlic butter. I almost feel like they're gonna be too many for this. I may have to do two pans. I'm gonna go ahead and do two pans because I think they may raise up a bit. I will let them rise a little bit and then I'll bake them. Um, and guys, as far as baking times, I would just guess. Nothing has to be perfect, so just kind of guess your baking times. And again, these are for my kids and my family. These are not for fancy people. I don't have to be Martha Stewart. I just have to get dinner made. That's it. So, phew! So pasta fajol soup's done. Olive Garden stuff is done. Don't forget you can use the code PPPCROCK at checkout to get my favorite measuring spoons, which are right over here. Let's get these. I love these and my friend Andrea created them and I just think they're lovely. If you can look at them, they've got, this one's messy because I used it this morning, but there it's a tablespoon, a teaspoon, a quarter teaspoon, and a half teaspoon. And so they're my teaspoons and I just keep them on the counter and they're super easy to use. You can also get your free cookbook. Um, you can print this one at home. If you'd rather have the real thing, you can go ahead and grab the real thing for sure. Um, someone said how to get the cookbook. Um, so Jamie, if you click the link, it's gonna take you right to, on the video, it's gonna take you right to the free thing where I just put your email in and I will email it right out to you immediately. Um, if you'd like to order the real book, it is available as well on Amazon. Um, Wendy, you said I use them every day. Does she sell them? She does sell them, Wendy. So if you, they are sold on Amazon. Um, if you use my link, you can get right to them and use the code PPPCROCK and you can save 20, uh, what is it, 10% on them to save $2, which is the cheapest they've been in quite a while, so it makes them $17.99. I love them, they are my little happy thing, and they're a great gift to give as well. Um, I will real quick answer any questions y'all have. I'm gonna try to turn this video, but I'm gonna just walk with you guys into the other room to answer questions because the lighting is a little crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna, there's, okay, and there's the real mess of what my kitchen looks like. That's what I stack, just so y'all see. That's what my kitchen looks like today because I was trying to stack that to hang, to put the cookbook on or the, the iPad on. So it's a little crazy. It's a little crazy. If it's a little crazy at your house, you're not the only thing. Um, you click the link for the cookbook. Oh, somebody asked, Irene asked for the Texas cake re recipe. I need to make that one again, Irene. I love that one. I need to make it again. Um, yeah, do y'all see that mess? It's a mess, literally. Do you have last Croctober's recipes? Christine, yes. You get both the last, you get both last year's recipes and this year's recipes. Um, the cookbook, both of them have all 40 days. You actually get 42, 40 recipes, which is pretty awesome. Um, Shauna, if you sign up at the link above, you're going to get that. Um, also, guys, if you'll hit the share bu this button, we, you will be entered to win a $20 Amazon gift card. $25 Amazon gift card. Y'all, just look at that mess that goes on back there. Like, literally, that was me stressing this morning, trying to figure out how 
Um, five little bears. Okay, so I had a tripod. The tripod didn't work as my, well as my selfie stick, but today, because my iPhone is not working, I'm having to use my iPad. So the iPad had nothing, so my genius PPP team came up with that idea as we were on live this morning on a small group. So yeah, that's the mess I'm gonna clean up as soon as um, that goes. Cindy, yes, today's soup can absolutely be frozen. That's a great idea. I actually probably will do that because this is gonna wake way more than we can eat. So um, yeah, definitely do that. You can definitely freeze it. Okie dokie, guys. Thank y'all so much for watching today. Um, I appreciate it a ton. I hope y'all have the very best day. Get your dinner done. Have an awesome day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.